Here's my two <laughs> here's my two issues with this shit. Okay. First of all, there's always this little bit of a patronizing thing. Not it's not the everyone here is being very kind. But these motherfuckers look at you and they're like, you don't get it. No. No, they That's do. What you no, think. no, 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 no. Hold on a second. They wouldn't whether no no. That's whether they definitely on you, Shane. No, no, no. Whether it. they admit it or Thank whether you, they Bang. don't. No, no, hold on a second. Whether they admit it or they don't. They'll all walk out of here, and they'll be like, they'll be ready soon, or they'll come to the light soon, or they're no. like, yes, that's whether they admit it or not. That's not true. I think that's today, not how I, I think today's your day, you Shane. Just that's not how you I feel. let those things go, buddy. <laughs> no, because <laughs> I don't think that way. It's, Look at them all just just that that is, hey, Shane, they I, I think that, that way. These guys know. Just me. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I'm still in judgment and all that. I'm, I'm working towards. You okay, know, great. you're with a, with a brutally honest group of guys here, right? Okay, now. they are. They they have a bit of a patronizing <laughs> okay. thing all where right. they like when they get to the point where they take the shot or whatever, then they'll understand or then they'll see what we're up to. Okay, this is one. my initial. No, my initial. No, but let's just a lot be of clear. Shots to get I just to want to point. be clear, Shane. I love you <laughs> unconditionally. I know, but that's <laughs> insane. That's not. I you accept do, you exactly you the way. Yes, you I do. You do not. You know, you know I could do things. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Right. I know that might be hard to believe. You're thinking on a higher plane. I know. Or a different I, I, want, plan I, or I think of, it might be. It, it might be a little hard for you to believe, mm -hmm. but I'm going to put it into perspective. Right. So yeah, today I sit where I am, working with indigenous elders and wisdom keepers and shamans and grandmasters and all that stuff what's right? a wisdom keeper somebody that holds you know knowledge okay but don't we and, all are we all yeah, wisdom but, yeah, keepers? yeah but we, and we have access to it that's the thing it's all inside of us and i'm not I don't, i'm not going to get all trippy and weirded out right now this is just my my belief i believe that that there is a the universe that you observe outside of you is also inside of you i believe that the light of the universe. Let's just look at light and vibration and frequency. That's it, just light. Sure. I believe that the light that we observe outside of us, whether it's the sun or the stars or whatever it is, I believe that that also lives inside of us. I believe that we are of the stars. So, let me say this. Yes. Before all this... Yes. Before all this, I just keep thinking of my girl meeting him. That's all I get. <laughs> gotta, gotta, gotta get out of there. Sorry. Gotta get I'm, out of back. There. I'm yeah, back. I'm back. So, before all of this... I was born in Ocean Township, New Jersey. Yes. Long Branch, New Jersey. Is Asbury that the shore? Park, is the that Jersey where the shore? Okay, I that's grew where Polly in the fucking in the in the in the Oompa Loompa and the the little girl. What's her name? Yes. No. Those they're they're all from like uh, Queens and Brooklyn or whatever. And okay, they're, they're not from the Jersey, the Jersey shore. shore. No, they're shore. not actually from the Jersey. Is, are you close to LBI? No, I'm north. You're north. Yeah, okay, I'm north so you're Carnival. I'm an hour from New York. You're more like the boardwalk and the carnival. Yes. Got it. Yeah, okay. Seaside. Yeah. So all you that grew area. up there. Yes. I okay. grew up on the Jersey Shore. Okay. I was an athlete. Okay. All I cared about was playing sports. Got it. Football? That, football, basketball, baseball, soccer, you name it. Skated, surfed, the whole thing. Got That's it. That's the world that I grew up in. The house that I grew up in, we weren't talking about this. This wasn't the reading material that yeah, was going you, on in my house. But let me finish. And so then when I was six, 15, 16 years old and I started smoking weed for the first time and then snorting coke and then eating ecstasy and then taking acid and taking mushrooms and trying uh, heroin and trying crack and all those things. And I was on the verge of suicide. Sure. And I lost my entire career. I was I was I, I was at a place in my life where I was ready to take my life. Lost. Right. Confused. Sure. I needed a way out and I needed help quick. And so I went with my brother and another friend of ours, and we went to go see the Grand Master for the first time. And I told you, he put his hands on me and he said, your blood is like mud. If you don't change your ways, you're going to develop a blood clot in 10 years and you're going to die. He put the fear of God in me. And so I knew in that moment, driving away from his house, as I was crying my eyes out, scared for my life, yes. I was like, I need to make a change. So I took a whole bunch of herbs for three months that he gave me. Okay. And he said, if you want me to train you, you just show up here. You don't have to call or nothing. And that's what I did. Three months later, I went back to this guy's house and I lived with this Vietnamese grandmaster and his family for six years of my life, training in, in, in martial arts and meditation and Buddhism and the whole thing. It was like the karate kid 
on steroids. So he was Miyagi and you were Daniel. That's exactly right. And it was wax on, wax off. That's it. And my life was never the same after that because I committed to this path of knowledge that has been around for thousands of years. He see, he seems happy. <sighs> yeah, he does. <laughs> now, I would I would argue that he's got stuff that goes on and he and he and there's like I, I can't feel that cuz I'm not supposed to cuz I'm a master. But human the human condition is ripe with feel do you get jealous or angry or upset or i used to i do not uh, that does not no and if you want me to explain i'll explain it and this is why we're here we're talking about ayahuasca so i i will give you what's shifting and be really you being a master of sorts but yes i'm on that path i'm on the path of self master you don't get angry no he's training so why can't he just be training to get these guys they know me the guy can kick his leg over his head, he hasn't he hasn't worked out in like nine years. He just tried this kick that the grandmaster taught him. He used to do like five thousand of these a day, and he, there's a video on Facebook, and his leg literally goes behind his ear. It has nothing to do with whether he gets frustrated in traffic. No, no we're yeah. talking about emotions and, and on our psychological state of being, right? Yes. Okay. So what what was what would be the reason why we get angry? You personalize something, right? Yeah. You get angry or depressed or anxious, or whatever those things are. Where where does that actually come from? Well, somebody's lot... not acting the way I want them to. Right. That's well, it. The reason why we get anxious and depressed and we get triggered is because we suppress emotions in our body from traumas from our past. Okay. This is what I do with people. The energy, the juice... That's exactly right. I have right. a traumatic You're... experience. Chemicals are released, mm-hmm. and then my body stores them. Correct. And then I'm walking around in my day. Somebody drops a fork. The chemical goes way, and I'm living back, that's not in triggers, the moment. Bro, yep, those are, that's what they call I'm living triggers. The, the chemical reaction that happened to me 28 years ago. It's, and yeah, so I brought be... that forward, and I'm living that with John currently. Correct. Absolutely. And the reason why that happens, right? If you're now, now you're the master of your universe. I you're, feel like that. You're the master of your mind. Sure. You're the master of your emotions or or your emotions the master of you. I think it it it, it will waver. There it are does. moments right. where I get overwhelmed and I'm like fuck this or I'm angry or fuck you or whatever. Exactly. I, so what my focus has been for the last 15 years of my life is to understand the root cause of the suppressed emotion. And this is what ayahuasca does. Ayahuasca, when you drink ayahuasca, it's like a sweet old grandmother, your grandmother, who's super sweet and really knowledgeable. Just loves nice. you. Just Doesn't give a shit you. what you do. You, all love. All, all love. love. And she jumps into your head, and she sits behind a, a control, Shane's control board. And to the right, there's a filing cabinet. Every experience that Shane has had in his life. Yes. And, he, and it's like, a, it's like a, a, an onion. There's like layers of experiences. And she pulls out a file, and she says, okay, we're going to work on this right now. Puts the file in and goes. This is what ayahuasca is, does. Yeah, right. And then ayahuasca goes, oh, whoosh. remember what happened between you and your father when you were eight years old, and he said this to you, and you were scared. And it destroyed and, you. Right. And it destroyed you, and then you went and, and hide. This is why you act this way with your girlfriend. For sure. And then, and so they, so she shines the light on all of this. And the next thing you know, your body's shaking, you're sweating, or you're throwing up, or you have to go to the bathroom and have diarrhea because it's purging the suppressed emotion and the energy out of your body. This right. is what it does. If you are facilitated. First of all, with- no one's ever explained it as well as you just did. I don't know what that means. You can chalk that up in your mastery thing when you walk out of here and feel good for you about yourself. Ding. And I've talked a lot about this a lot, but it's 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 all the same. It's we react or everything that's going on in our life is based on resenting, right? Not the anger, but refeeling. Mm-hmm. The word sente is to feel, refeel. So if I am ever in a position where I'm I'm not angry at Vanger right now. Vanger has triggered something in me that is relating back to something that happened when I was 15 or I didn't feel heard right. or whatever, yeah. this, that, and the other. And then right. I'm using, I'm living that moment 28 years ago right now yep. on him. And you're I projecting get, it onto him. For sure. I get right. re-feeling. 
Correct. My journey is to work or to write down resentments and like and look my part in it and what it affects in me. You're saying I can do basically an inventory by drinking this fucking juice. One hundred billion percent. Right. Not I, even a question, buddy. Not even a question. 